biotechnology applied to energy holds tremendous opportunities. Uh, we know very little about how to be able to leverage, mine, grow uh, organic uh, substances. Much of them, uh, for instance, live in the ocean or on the plains that we don't use. There's a lot of land and water that could be used for producing energy sources, organic uh, energy sources that, quite frankly, we don't quite have the, the, the technology yet. Craig Venter brought us the uh, mapping of the human genome, has focused on some very interesting research with investors uh, to be able to better grow algae, for instance, and be able to turn that into an energy source. I think it's really, my vision of the future of alternative energy is an integrated platform of alternative energies such as water, hydro, solar, a combination of, of biotechnology fuels, all that are integrated into a massive kind of new grid, a smart grid that we're able to, even if we can only get small yields from some of those technologies, such as wind today or solar, by integrating them together and having more local distribution, we'll be able to create a smarter grid and wean ourselves off of you know, a, a oil-dependent uh, uh, economy. That's the critical problem that we have today is our over-dependence on oil, which from a national security point of view makes absolutely no sense. I think there's a great possibility with courage and science over the next 25 to 30 years, we could more than reduce our oil addiction, but more importantly, create new technologies. But we're going to need to massively invest in innovation as we've never had before. And those R&D investments coming at a time when the global economy is in decline in terms of the availability and abundance of, if you will, risk capital to be thrown into research and development, this is an unprecedented time. There is no time I've seen in the history of the modern world that, that we have not been really investing in new technologies. This is an era because of the economic collapse since 2008 that we've not been investing in new innovations. And it's new innovations, particularly in alternative energy, that are going to make a difference. That way we don't have to deal with uh, substandard uh, solutions or being going back to being addicted to uh, foreign uh, powers that, quite frankly, are not friendly towards our interests and putting ourselves and our future at risk. I th see no reason to send $800 million a year to OPEC. We should be investing that money here in America and with our allies in Europe and Asia and Africa and South America in creating an entirely new global smart grid at the core of it, which is based on alternative fuels and great new science. I would vote for that innovation. In fact, one of my, my greatest mentors who was the uh, Rick Smalley, who's uh, gone now, but went ahead and won the first Nobel Prize for nanotechnology. His, his pet project at the end of his life was to use nanotechnology and advanced sciences, invest in them to wean us off of oil, and to use nanotechnology for coatings, storage, and to be able to create a new smart grid infrastructure. Again, my words, but his vision, he inspired me, as many other folks have, to create a new future. By the way, it doesn't mean we then pull the plug on the petro economy. It means we have an ability to be able to create entirely new resources that we have not, quite frankly, invested in. Some of them are, sound bizarre today, such as methane mining on the ocean. Uh, or methane mining on the moon. People don't realize that an investment of less than you know five to eight billion dollars in could make a huge impact. We invest that in our logistics and infrastructure in the U.S. Uh, every couple of years. So we're not talking about things that are insurmountable. There are there are there is no loss of new ideas. We need to be investing in innovations that will create a more sustainable energy future for everybody on the planet. And we can start by taking the lead. That's historically been what the U.S. has done. I'd like to see us return to that.